And this is the little outfit we're getting for the little man today. Got the hat and pants and everything. Shh, shh, shh. Ready to go out. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. This is Elijah. <laughs> Look at the little cutie. <laughs> Let me tell y'all something. It's only been five weeks and Elijah is big. Yes. He's a thick boy. 10 pounds now. No, we, we don't know. He's definitely probably 11 plus. Yeah, he's probably 11 pounds. Five weeks old. Well, five weeks on Tuesday. I think he might be doing It'll be five weeks on Tuesday, but welcome to the co-life. And we are going to show a day in our life as newborn parents. It's a Sunday. Yes. And uh, we're going to show a little bit of what our weekend normally looks like. We don't really have much planned. We're just going to try to get stuff done, have yeah. fun together. Yeah, we're kind of on light of schedule. It is a difference between one versus two. Um, in good ways and bad ways. So we're gonna share that. And there's a difference between Elijah and how Aza was too. We're gonna show you our routine, but real quick. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And please excuse us while we look absolutely crazy. We literally just woke up, but let's do this. <laughs> okay, so timeline of this morning. We are going to try to attempt to do a 24 hour day in the life, but we don't know how the night time's gonna go or if we even remember to pick up the camera. So <laughs> depending on how that goes, we woke up at like what, eight o'clock? Aze is actually with her granny right now um, going to church. We have not yet gone to church. We're waiting till six weeks. Elijah woke up, fed, back to sleep. I think it's about 9.50 right now. It takes us like an actual good minute to wake up and be alert. Yeah. I think it's just because of all the broken sleep, you know, like we will wake up at eight, but I don't think we're ready to go until like 8.45. No, no. What do you want to do? Maybe we eat some food. Oh yeah, breakfast. Okay, let's do that. This is little man's favorite blanket. What does it say? It says loved. That's backwards, but it says loved. We put Elijah down and we at least try to put him down in the morning so we can have breakfast. Even when, you know, Brian's working now, we still, I still try to put him down just so I can just have a little bit of my morning. It is not easy to do that because he does recognize when we are not around him. <laughs> but this is nice. Paper plates and frozen waffles, baby. I don't know why he uses a paper plate. We have real plates, but he doesn't want to waste do dishes. plates, I guess. I don't want to do dishes. That's, that's really where it comes down. You don't do dishes. I know. I still don't want people to have to do dishes. <laughs> I'm glad you care about that. I do. I do the laundry in the house. Mm -hmm. I do all the laundry, all day, every day. But I will not do dishes. We're going to get ready soon to go out with all the kids. Kids. Multiple. <laughs> go out with the kids. We're going to take Aza to the park or maybe the mall. Mm -hmm. Look who came back from church. It's Aza girl. Doesn't she look pretty? Look, oh, oh, we got the whole cute little summer fit. Who's that, Aza? And we have friends over. <laughs> Auntie, Auntie Cam decided to sneak by the house. Time for bed. And after your nap, what are we gonna do? Play with balloons. Play with balloons. And go to the mall. And go to the mall. It, depending on the rain. All right, let's go take a nap. All right, go to sleep. Look at all these little animals. She has all her friends. <laughs> what do you not have in bed, Aza? Okay, good night. She... <laughs> all right, I will. She always asks us to leave the door open a little bit now, so. Can I be real with you guys? I wanted this video to be as authentic as possible. And I thought about doing my hair because I'm like, oh, we're shooting a video, I'll do my hair. But if y'all weren't here today, I wouldn't be doing my hair. I would be at home chilling with no gel in it, just as it is, wavy and all. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give you the authentic, real me on a Sunday morning and uh, I ain't getting dressed for nobody. All right, fine, I did get dressed, you know, but still, still chill. Okay, so Aza is officially awake from her nap. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, she never actually went to sleep. She was pretty much in there for an hour making noises, singing songs and playing with her animals, and she never went to sleep. I'm scared this is a sign that maybe she doesn't need naps anymore, but I'm gonna pretend like that's not true. We are gonna go to the mall as a family, and we got Elijah some new clothes. So we actually partnered with Walmart and got some really cool things from them. Number one, we need so many onesies for this little guy because, you know, he does baby stuff. And so we bought a ton of onesies for him. Cute little hats, little socks, little mittens, hats, all the, all the stuff. And it was for a super affordable low price. Check it out. Look at all the stuff we got for him. It's so cute. I love baby clothes. 
they're all just so small. So we got sleepers, we got pajamas, little hats, mittens, the whole nine. And we are gonna get him dressed and ready to go. And you guys know that we are obviously always on the go, moving around constantly. And we have two kids now, so we bought another car seat. And this is a special car seat. It's actually not for us. Now given the fact that we are on the go all the time, Lex and I also do a lot of date nights and we go out and have me time. So our parents are constantly helping us out, watching the kids, taking care of them. So we thought it was only best fit that they are the ones who get the new car seat. So we partnered with Walmart to get the even flow car seat and we love it. And I really like this car seat because it actually comes with the base already attached, just making it a little bit easier for them to uh, secure it in the car and get ready to go. Padding is super nice and thick for the little one. And then obviously you got the nice little visors and all the stuff to come over top. Make sure that the sun's not in their eyes and mosquitoes aren't on them. We also bought this super heavy duty wagon probably a couple months ago when we found out we were having little man. So Lexi got this. We've already been putting it to good use. It's already got a bunch of little things in there from Aza. And the car seat is compatible with it. So it works out perfectly when you have two little ones, one being an infant and one being a toddler. They can both have fun and go for a good ride. So from baby clothes to car seats to toys to everything in between, Walmart has everything you can think of for your baby. So definitely go check it out. Go to Walmart store, go online and look at all the things that they have to offer because we love it. And click the link in our description to order all your baby stuff and start a baby registry. And this is the little outfit we're getting for a little man today. Got the hat and pants and everything. Ready to go out. Hi. That's my mom in the background. She just got back from church. Say hi mom. <laughs> so, this is, uh, today is a true testament of actually what like a day in the life. <laughs> this is a true testament of what a day in the life, oh, okay. Can you sit there for me? Anyways, this is a true testament of what a day in the life looks like because we had plans today to go to the mall and uh, at the last second, Auntie Cam came over and hung out for a while. And then, just as we were about to go to the mall now, my auntie from Texas is coming to hang out, hang out. So we're chilling here. I think Aza, what do you want to do? You want to go play with balloons? <laughs> so we're going to go play with some water balloons in the backyard till they get here. And then we're going to hang out with the family. This is what our life looks like. Help me! <laughs> Help me! All right, but this is Elijah's full outfit. We got them all geared up. We actually didn't end up going anywhere. <laughs> I think we're gonna try to do dinner though. It's actually really warm. Oh no! It's okay. You're supposed to get wet. It's a water balloon fight. Uh, we're not doing fights. She doesn't like fighting with the water balloons. She just wants to throw them up in the air. We get daddy with the balloons. No! Why would we do that? All right, you gotta go with the balloons. Where are the balloons? On the deck, on the porch. I do one. Aza, we're over here. Here go. Clearly, you see how much Aza loves chalk. And back in the day, we didn't have this. Oh. I really don't nice. want to teach my kids this. They need to learn how to blow up balloons one by one, like we had to. Man, that's too much. I'm doing too much. Hey, where are you doing? For some reason, Aza likes really playing with these. There you go. Oh, oh yeah, God forbid you get wet. You gotta get We're wet, ready? water balloons. I got you. <laughs> I got you. Daddy. No, don't you do it. Don't you do it. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> Hit daddy with it. No. Hit daddy with it. You gotta don't run and get him. Run and get him. No, don't do it. No, no. Please don't. <laughs> Good job, Aza. No, no, no. Ready? <laughs> Ready? One, two. Aza, no. <laughs> she does not want to get okay, away. Throw, throw it to me then. Throw it to me. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to get daddy. Uh uh, fam. Go I got the get camera. Me. Don't get the camera wet. Don't Wait. do it. No. <laughs> Babe. What? You don't want to get wet? Choose carefully. Use wisdom. That's fair. Quick update, we actually re-landscaped our entire house, so 
See nice mulch beds and bushes out here. I'll zoom in a little bit, but that little area out there is a beautiful island that we put some stonework in and all new sod. So the grass is super tall now. It's been about three weeks, almost three weeks since we put it in and it's getting ready to have its first big uh, lawn mowing cut, but it's growing and super great. All the roots are in. Grass is just looking good. This is where my mom accidentally, you know, drove over it, but whatever. We have to learn how to forgive. Hey, we were trying to grow our grass naturally, trying to let it come in over a couple years, save some money, didn't work at all. Our grass looked trash. And so we finally ponied up, put some money into it, and we planted sod, and it does look incredible. So definitely worth it. <laughs> Here's the island I was talking about. So we actually used wall uh, stones from my parents' retaining wall. They had a couple extras. And we built this little island, put some bushes in it. I can't walk on the grass because you can't walk on it in the first three weeks, but otherwise I'd show you. Then there's the backyard. So you can see we built some decks. So that's our patio off of our master bedroom. Put some uh, plant life around it. Um, we're very excited to furnish it. I'm gonna put a couple chairs and breakfast area and all that stuff for Lexi and I to be out there in the mornings and evenings and stuff. Did some really nice work here with the bushes. I love these hydrangeas. They're coming in so nicely. Look at that beautiful color. And then over here, we're putting a fire pit in. So at the bottom of this deck, we've got the fire pit going in. Uh, we're about to buy one probably later this week. We got some couches coming, some chairs, super excited. And then there is our main deck. I love the railings. I love how we did it with the black spindles and the wood accents. You can see clearly where we outlined where we're trying to put some furniture and get measurements. So we're gonna put some sofas up here, a little coffee table and all that. I'm so excited to spend some a lot of summer evenings out here. That's what it's all about. We actually were thinking about pushing this project off another year. But we're like, no, we want Aza and Elijah to be able to run around in the grass with their bare feet and actually go like have fun as kids and not worry about stepping on weeds and stuff. So whatever plans we thought we might have had for the evening, I think we we're going to go out for dinner. I know y'all can't really tell, but it's like it's a big thunderstorm. <laughs> Aza loves the rain. It's a big thunderstorm right now. You can hear it a little bit, but the wind is kicking. <laughs> and uh, like I said, plans change. Uh, our Sunday was supposed to look very different, very different, and this is the reality of how things work out. So mm -hmm. I love it though. We had so much fun with Elijah and Aza. We're gonna watch a family movie now. Finding Dory. You see Elijah? You gotta show Elijah. Look at Elijah. Look He's at not really watching the movie. <laughs> He's such a cutie. Daddy? Yes, Daddy, baby. I will watch Dory. You wanna watch Dory? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna play it, okay? As soon as I'm done looking at Elijah, he's so cute. Bye, he's so cute. Also, I think this is a whole conversation that we can have, but we really try to spend like intentional, undivided time with Aza so that she doesn't feel like all of our time and attention goes to Elijah. So like the water balloon fight, you know, my mom was gracious enough to take Elijah while the three of us went out and had the fight. So we just try to make sure that she doesn't feel left out. She feels paid attention to, cared for, still like we are fully invested in her. So anything else you want to say? Nope. Okay. <laughs>